Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Moogma, and today, in Anime Adventures, I'm going to be going over 5 tips that can help you go from a noob to a pro in literally just 5 easy steps. So the first step is look up how useful your units are. Anime Adventures has a wiki with a tier list, and it shows how useful certain units are in certain scenarios. For example, Story Motor Infinite, and it shows what those units are best used for. I see a lot of people that get some pretty bad units that just keep using them because they're like, oh, this is a mythic unit, so it means it has to be good, right? But there are some legendary units that are actually better than a lot of mythical units. That being said, some mythic units, most of them, are still better than legendaries, but it's always good to go on the wiki and just check how good your units are. And the second tip that I have for you guys is to save your gems. Now I see a lot of people going over to the summon area and spending every gem that they have, like every time that they get gems, on the banner. This is very inefficient because if you have a luck potion and you want to be summoning with a luck potion on, it won't really get that much out of that luck potion. You want to at least save until you have like a couple thousand gems. Hopefully you have like 10,000 saved up with a luck potion. That would be really good. But just save your gems. It's not that hard. And another thing, only summon on the special banner. If we go to the summon area... Um, there's the special banner and the standard banner. The standard banner usually has bad units on it, the special one has alright units, but that, then again, look up how good the units are, don't just summon on a random banner. And the third tip I have for you guys, do your challenges whenever you can, even if you're not that far in story mode, like, do the challenges that you can do, for example. This one's in Ant Kingdom, so I can do this one right now, actually, once I'm done filming this, but... This one gives you random star fruits, and in one of my videos, um, which I'll leave a link to, when I tried to get Aizen, it required a lot of star fruits to craft the negation box, and if you look at my inventory right now, I have a lot of star fruits, but that's because I do these challenges. If you don't do these challenges and you want to evo one of your units, it's going to be a lot harder to do that, so that's why you always want to do that. The fourth tip I have for you guys today is whenever you go to play you can go to your quests and you'll have some daily and some infinite quests and basically always do these they give you a ton of gems and the gems that you get from these you can use to summon on a ton of units in other in other words they're really good i definitely wouldn't skip out on these i would always at least do your dailies if possible the last tip i have for you guys here today is to use bulma's shop right now there's a summon ticket and a dark katana Always buy at least the summon tickets as they're really cheap and they're really helpful, especially if you want to get that unit that's currently in the special banner. And those are all the tips I have for you guys here today. I hope at least some of them will help you. Most of these tips are pretty helpful and these will help me go from a noob to having a unit inventory that looks something like this with Pride the One and Eyes and Final and all these good units. And with using these tips, you guys can do the same. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and want some more tip videos, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and leave a comment for what you guys want me to do next. As always, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. This is Mr. Mugma signing off. Goodbye.